Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is December 7th, 2018. We're in Bluffton in Rose Hill on the estate side. And we're looking at number five, Fox Meadow, a large home with 3,076 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, all on one level with an additional office or bonus room up over the garage. It has a two-car garage and a covered and screened, I guess you could call it a Florida room or a Carolina room. It's both a sunroom and a screen porch. Here on 1.55 acres, the estate side has big lots and sometimes several acres over here. We're going to walk through this house take a look at it, see if it could possibly be for you. It's listed today with Keller Williams Realty for $475,000, which also just happens to be the low price in Rose Hill on the estate side today with homes that go all the way up to 1.4 million. The average price here on the estate side seven hundred and seventy six thousand eight hundred and twenty two thousand dollars the average size over here folks four thousand four hundred and eighty two square feet with the full range being twenty seven hundred and twenty one square feet up to ten thousand five hundred square feet and that information by the way from our Hilton Head multiple listing service of which my company is a member and it requires this disclaimer that you're not relying on that information for any reason whatsoever to make any buying decision. And I'm showing you this home as a buyer's agent. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 43 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Let's go in and take a look. The house is, uh, was built in 1994, and as such, it has the uh, traditional cypress siding. It has brick steps leading up to a, a beautiful glass and wood front door, kind of an art deco glass panel in that front door, and a traditional floor plan. Let's go in and take a look. Now the most contemporary floor plans in the newest houses are open with everything open to one another. That's not what you have here. We have a foyer with a tiled floor looking very nice. However, we also then have this formal living room or we'll just call it an extra room here to the left. Formal dining room just beyond that. And our living room, or let's call it, since we just saw that extra room, I'm gonna call that the living room. This is what I'm gonna call the family room. Is straight back with the fireplace and built-in cabinets and a wet bar. Off to our right, we have four bedrooms, four bedrooms and two bathrooms down that hallway. And out back here we have this Florida room or Carolina room, which is both screened and paneled. This room has two skylights to give additional light and we're going to see that several of the rooms have ceiling fans which is definitely a good idea in this climate to move the air around. Here's our uh, informal eating area sometimes called an eat-in kitchen with a beautiful bay window just beyond is our laundry and over here the kitchen with real wood cabinets 
granite top. This would be your pass-through or breakfast bar. Tile backsplash. Stainless sink. Double ovens. Definitely a newer, newer refrigerator and an older microwave over here. Gosh, the prices on those have come down so much. So easy to replace that. This is the formal dining room, just off the kitchen. And just to reorient you from this side, that's, this is the extra room uh, that we saw when we came in to the left and looking across to the foyer and then down the hallway. We'll go back there. We'll take a look at those bedrooms. So this is your formal dining area. And coming back to our kitchen, we have a uh, laminate floor. And a skylight with a really uh, good shaft of light coming through from above. We have some under, under counter, under cabinet lights. All in all, it's a perfectly fine and contemporary kitchen. Some people might choose to paint those cabinets, but they look to be very durable. Here's just a sneak peek out onto that Carolina room or Florida room. It's a sunny day here in Bluffton, South Carolina. And there's a uh, rear deck out there with the synthetic wood. So it's uh, been rebuilt sometime recently. Over here, our laundry is straight ahead. Our rear entry to that back deck is right here. Over this away, we have our half bathroom. And it's a half because it doesn't have a tub or a shower. And here at the end of the hallway, we have our laundry. Full-size washer and dryer. I imagine that they're included. And they are. With a wash bin. And lots of cabinets. To the right, our garage. We have a full two-size garage. I guess you could say an oversized two-car garage. We're not gonna look in every nick, nook and cranny. There are automatic door openers. There is uh, built-in cabinets to the left, over here. And then just around the corner to the right, just beyond the wash bin, just before the side door. There is an extra space back in there where there is a workshop of sorts back in there. My buyers always like that extra space for storage or for that sort of thing, a wood shop. And this is this bonus room up over the garage. It could be an office, game room. Just a multi-purpose room. And we see several doors here that provide for attic access for storage. You know, here in the South Carolina Low Country, we don't have basements. We store things in closets, in the attics, and in the garage. So those lower doors both give mechanical access and roof access as needed, but also are floored areas where you can store things. It's a good sized room. And if you don't need it for media or games or an office, well, this becomes a big uh, heated and cooled storage area right in itself. So back to our breakfast area with the beautiful gabled window and a uh, cabinet here with a granite top. I'm not sure what all those building plans are that are there, but it would seem that the resident is an architect or a builder of some sort. 
although they've obviously moved out and the home is for sale. Now there's no question that the floors, at least in some of the rooms, could use some new flooring. But you know, at a $475,000 for a house of this size, I think that, um, and, and that was built in 1994, you would expect to do some sort of redecorating or renovating. Well, as we come down the hallway to our four bedrooms, we have the first of two bathrooms, excuse me, I think three bathrooms. This one has a cultured marble top with the dual basins, integral basins, and our commode is just through that door and there's a uh, uh, linen closet on the left. Behind the door we have a uh, shower and those are slabs of cultured marble, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not familiar with cultured marble, it's a man-made resin product uh, which uh, has uh, stone. It's uh, preferable to tile by a lot of people because it just doesn't have the grout lines. And so it looks like uh, slabs of stone. But it's a man-made stone. It's in the uh, best houses in the area uh, because it is so durable and has uh, stood the test of time very nicely. Now down here uh, we have our, we'll call this the fourth bedroom here at the front of the house. But it could be different things. It could be an office or a hobby room. You own the house, you do what you will. These uh, next two bedrooms, we'll call them bedroom uh, three and two, I suppose, uh, have a Jack and Jill bathroom that connect them. And I think we all know what they are. One bathroom for two rooms. Behind the door we have another tub and shower just like the one we saw in the other room with the big slabs of the cultured marble. And those are our porcelain tubs. I think today the house would most likely be built with a fiberglass tub and shower. But here at number five Fox Meadow, we have the porcelain tubs and the cultured marble surrounds, cultured marble vanity tops wood panel doors, lever handles, and out here in the hallway we have a uh, series of these closets with bifold doors, a pair of them for additional storage. I suppose that's for blankets and just whatever. And here we go into the master bedroom. Immediately to the left our big walk-in closet with lots of built-in shelves Lots of hangers too. <laughs> Lots of hangers. And here we are in the bedroom itself with a ceiling fan. Very large room. I think your headboard would go over here on this wall. And with the private bathroom that has some pretty interesting features here. Immediately is this sit-down jetted tub. In a bright spot for sure. Our vanity. Again, cultured marble, double basins. Light colored wood this time around, lighter than we saw in the kitchen. Our commode is in the water closet there. There's a window in there as well. And then behind the door, we have a shower with a glass and framed enclosure once again with the cultured marble panels.
on the frosted glass for privacy. All of this on one level. Plenty of space to spread out and have a separation of the living areas. So whether you're a family or if you just have family coming in, gee whiz, this house has plenty of room for his and her offices or hobby rooms, sitting areas, guest bedrooms. That's a big concern of my buyers here in the area because once you move to this area, relocate from some other place, you know you have a lot of guests, the family and friends, they want to come down and see you. Beautiful wood burning fireplace with a tile surround and some distinctive woodworking with a mantle. Good place for your favorite piece of art up there over the mantle. Let's go out and see this Carolina room. Some people call these Florida rooms. I use the words interchangeably myself, but I think that this was originally a covered porch that was then enclosed. And that's perfectly fine. We have skylights out here and a treated wood deck. A ceiling fan. Very bright room. Very bright room here on December 7th. And that goes into the breakfast area. Out here on this outside deck This is the, uh, well, you know, it, it might be treated wood that's been stained. I think that's what it is. I thought it was one of the synthetics like Trex, but I think that it uh, is a combination, actually. It looks like maybe the rails, I really can't tell. The rails may be synthetic, and some of it may be wood. I'd have to, you know, take a look and inquire more specifically, but it's... It looks new and it's very clearly well cared for. The benefit of some of these synthetics, of course, is that they don't rot and you don't have to paint them and that sort of thing. So this may be a product that is, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, if it's not wood, it sure looks like wood. But I think it's a synthetic. I think the rails are synthetic and the uh, top rails are synthetic. The pickets are synthetic and the top, the caps, the whole thing are synthetic. That's good. So here we are now out into the backyard. <laughs> 1.55 acres, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who like to have your privacy, don't want your neighbors too close, well, perhaps you should consider Rose Hill Estate Side. Now, Rose Hill has two sides. It has the estate side, and I just quoted you those general stats on prices and sizes. Uh, it also has the golf side. The golf side does have some large full-size lots, typically a third to a, a four-tenths of an acre, but some are smaller. They have what are called patio homes over there. And so the homes are generally smaller. The lots are absolutely generally smaller. And the community overall, though, has a golf course, which is open to the public. It has a walking park. It does have deep water access through a boat launch into the Colleton River. It does have community tennis courts and community swimming pools. There's two of those. And it has a brand new clubhouse with a restaurant. There's no minimum food and beverage charge. Brand new, it's just completed. And that's where the golf pro shop is. They have a driving range. They also have a uh, warm up course where you can go and play anytime for free. Par three warm up course. It's a very uh, interesting and different community for people who are looking for Oh, and by the way, there's a uh, equestrian center here. So they do play polo uh, here. They raise horses at the, at the main paddocks. And they do have horse trails that go through the community. 
Uh, they don't touch this one, but as you look across the street, you can see some front yards that are fenced and just different kinds of things in this community, especially on the estate side. But the two, the community is divided into those sections, the estate side that we're in now and the golf side. Well, here, let me give you my contact information and invite you to call me or email. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And my cell number, please call any time, 843-684-2933. 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, uh, thank you for watching the video. You can reach me uh, via my cell number, uh, email, or via gogated.com. I certainly would be happy to hear from you. Keep me in mind as your buyer's agent, you know every sale has two sides, all the all the listing, all the properties that are listed and developer properties all have an agent who represents the seller or the developer or the builder. I represent buyers. And it's easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close by the commission that is already in the price of every listed home and new build. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder, so I love helping my buyers with new construction, new homes, and it just doesn't cost anything more to have a good buyer's agent on your side. Well, thanks again for watching. A very interesting house. I've been uh, watching this one for a while. Uh, this one is actually, uh, seems to be in the name of an estate. It, uh, we're told that it's sold as is. I noticed there was a new thermostat in there, so it seems to have a new uh, heating and air system, or at least part of one. Uh, but I uh, think that by uh, the house has been very well maintained, and while it does need some upgrades, decorating upgrades, frankly, it looks like a heck of a deal. That's why I came over here. That's part of what I do as a buyer's agent. I make sure that my buyers can find the good deals, and we, of course, compare homes. We compare new homes to resale homes, uh, lots if you want to build, whatever you need. I'm here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for watching. Very interesting uh, house and a very interesting community. Uh, thanks again. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you, hopefully, as your buyer's agent here in Bluffton or Hilton Head Island, South Carolina.